Stuff Lab. I'm Gwen. And I'm Marty. And we're doing facts, Marty. Okay. Okay. It Give me is, some guesses. It's an animal. Because now I looked at the thing. Good job. <laughs> um, orcas. No. Lever seals. Yes. What? Oh my god, we gotta do lever seals? <laughs> I know what this predator's not gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Marty, Sweet. where does it live? No idea. Teach me about it. I just know they like to kill things. Oh. I know nothing about them. I just know they're they're terrifying seals. Oh, well, where do you think they live? Water. <laughs> Salt water? Probably. They're seals that have to also go on a land mass of some sort. Yeah, so I'm gonna say like... Do you know the what... Arctic do you, sea? Do you know what they eat? I really like everything. Like okay. in my I, was, I was trying to help you. Okay. <laughs> no, I was going to say, in, in my in my head, leopard seals are just like one of the most dangerous, mean jerk hunters. It's not on here, but they live oh, in the Antarctic. I, thought, I was going to say, I thought they lived up in the, Ar the Ar Arctic is up north, right? Arctic is north. Antarctic. I thought they lived in Opposite. the Arctic. Opposite. I thought they lived in the Arctic. No. Huh. Leopard seals <laughs> are an ice-loving seal and primarily inhabit the Arct Antarctic ice. Roaming seals have been spotted on the coast of Australia and New Zealand, South America, I'm sorry, South Africa, and South America. Going all the way to the South, to South Africa for, that must be a long journey. Yep. Like how many thousands of miles is that? I have no idea. That's a, it's a ways. You know, that's like the same distance, like from top to bottom of like United States. Just a little seal? That's crazy is crazy. Description! Oh, so scary. The leopard seal has a long and a muscular body. So strong. It's well known for its reptilian-like head and massive jaws. This is as you, like, they don't have the normal, like, bump like this. It's yeah. more flattened. Yeah, they don't have, they don't have, like, they don't have the, the cute seal face. Right. Yeah, they have the terrifying monster face. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so I believe it said it was a true sea lion because it doesn't have ears that poke out of its head. Okay. They're inset into their skull. Hmm. Probably make more streamlined. Yes. So they can kill things faster. Yes, they are very hydrodynamic. Extremely. I mean, they look like just a muscular tube. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, they have silver to dark gray blended coat. So all this. Help some blend in. Mm -hmm. How long do you think they are? Mm, I want to say they're probably like, uh, seven to eight feet long. Seven to eight? Yeah. 7.9 to 11.5. 11, oh God, that'd be... Females are slightly larger than the males. So, so the, female, the, male. the females are on the larger end of the scale. God, that'd be terrifying. Yes. It'd be like two of me. Dang. Yeah. <laughs> no thanks. I thought that, okay. I thought I was guessing like big going like seven to eight, like you love them to be freaking awful. Yeah, it's like a surfboard with a mouth coming out. Oh my know? god. <laughs> <laughs> oh. How much do you think it weighs? Well now I have to go into like my muscular whale math. Not um, a bad idea. <laughs> so uh six hundred to thirteen hundred pounds. 600, 1300? Yeah. All right. You did good. Yeah. Yeah. Getting really good at this whole fish math thing. <laughs> you are. You are getting good with fish math. Uh, they are the same length as the northern walrus, but usually less than half the weight. Oh, God. And that doesn't seem daunting. They're massive. They're so freaking huge. Oh. So I'm sure you can tell their jaw. Mm -hmm. Do they have a snake like jaw? Can they? Can it unhinge? No, it's not snake-like, but compared to most other mammals, mm -hmm. it has the largest radius of being able to open its mouth. God, okay. So diet, what do you think it eats? Anything that fits into its mouth. <laughs> well, a penguin would have been a good guess. <laughs> well, it looks to me like that penguin is gonna fit right in its mouth. Yeah, I think so. Uh, cephalopods, so like 
the blobby things with legs. <laughs> blobbies with legs. <laughs> okay. Blobbies with legs. Other pinnipeds, meaning other seals. God. <laughs> krill. Really? They waste their time with krill? Krill makes up a big part of their diet. Huh. I guess I just never thought, like... I thought krill was, like, a specifically, like... Whale thing. Whale thing. Because, like, they're just so small, it wouldn't make any sense for something like this that has an actual mouth to eat. Yeah, whales have actual mouths. Wait, but they have, like, the big... Baleen? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Birds. And fish. While hunting for penguins, the leopard seal waits right off the ice for a penguin to hop in. The seal grabs it by its feet and legs and thrashes it around, also beating it against the surface of the water repeatedly until the penguin is dead. God. It's Welcome to what the rest of this episode is going to be like. So if you have a weak stomach. <laughs> leopard seals are the worst. No, I feel like orcas are probably the worst. Leopard seals are definitely close second. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would agree with that. Because, or because orcas are not just brutal and vicious. They're this isn't about the orca. So smart. It's about the leopard seal. Yeah, today. yeah. We'll get to orca some other day okay. so you can stop guessing them. Okay, fine. <laughs> uh, also, you can see the mm -hmm. the head's pretty flat instead of having that uh, yeah. nose bump there. The, the cute bump. Yeah. Yeah, these are not cute. They're horrifying. I, I think they're cute. Really? So, predators. Orcas. I'm saying orca. Mm-hmm. People. I forgot how to spell it for a second. There we go. Right? Yeah. Or pennies, eh? What? It looks, it looks like a cent sign. Or pennies. Hey. <laughs> there. So you're saying orcas. People. Uh, people. Um, just that one kid in particular. <laughs> well, I mean, he's definitely going to just lunge and just eat all of that guy. Oh, good. That's um, my guess. I'm this was taken, I think, in 1913. I think all I right. don't. I don't particularly remember. But I thought it'd be nice to see some scale. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, they're big. Yeah. Um, so orcas, people, large sharks like great whites. Um. It's like other sharks that are just bigger than them, but like predatory sharks. Bull sharks aren't big, are they? Like they're mean, but they're not like huge. I would not say that they're huge. Okay, then I would not say bull shark. Uh, themselves fighting. That's <laughs> Um, That's about it. For as terrifying as they are, I can't really imagine anything like actively hunting them. The only natural predator <laughs> is the, the orca. Whale. Okay. <laughs> possibly, possibly, sharks and the elephant seal. Elephant seals eat meat? I'm thinking the walrus. Never mind. Okay. I'm pretty sure walrus also eats meat. I don't know. They seem so derpy. They just seem like grass eaters. Predatorial concern thing is melting polar ice caps because they only live on okay. ice. Okay. Like the only actual known one though is. Just the only 100% confirmed one is the orca. Or I think okay. sharks are probably opportunistic. Okay. Because it's very cold where they live. So yeah. I'm guessing shark is when they move a little bit more north. Okay. The sharks are more more common. Okay. Breeding. It's snoozing. I want to hug one of these two. Oh God, you're by yourself on that one. Mm. I'll be very far away, like in a truck hundreds of miles away or like a helicopter or nowhere near them. <laughs> yes, I think it'd be very difficult to convince you to go on an Arctic exploration. <laughs> <laughs> that place is awful. Yes. No way. Breeding. They are solitary animals except for mother and pup. Since they live in a hard to reach area, not a ton is known. Uh, mating is believed to be December to January. Ah, it was extra freezy. Yes. Where males and females are both very vocal underwater. Specifically males. Mm -hmm. uh, they'll go underwater and they will vocalize. Mm -hmm. And the younger they are, the more vocalizations they have. The older they are, they simplify them. Mm -hmm. So there's like three that will be used, but they'll be put in a different pattern to mean different things. I thought that was kind of interesting. Oh, okay. 
That was nifty. Yeah. Females are sexually active from three to seven years of age. Males age six to seven years. It did not, it also was sexually active. It didn't specify if that's what the age they have to reach to start breeding or if it's just that small period of time while hmm. they're alive. Uh, gestation takes approximately 274 days. Hmm. Guess how much pups weigh at birth? Uh, uh, 40 to 60 pounds. 66 pounds. Okay. That's pretty hefty. Yeah. Uh, there's a mortality rate of about 25% hmm. for the pups in the first year of life. Pups uh, are weaned after about a month. Oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. Mm -hmm. just, he just looks so mean. Yeah. So, status. What do you think? Terrifying. Terrifying? I mean, I, I think it's really like the only thing that actually hunts them is an orca. And, I mean, I can't really imagine people going like, hey, man, let's go downwards super, super cold and awful and just hunt this one thing. Wait till we get to fun facts. Because it's also terrifying and trying, probably gonna be actively hunting us the entire time too. I'm gonna say probably like, maybe like vulnerable or least concerned. Like, they seem to be doing okay. Vulnerable. I'm just writing down your guess. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'd say probably one of those two. One of those two? Yeah, because I can't imagine people actively trying to hunt something that would be trying to kill them the entire time. Okay. In somewhere that's awful. Well, just to make you stop rambling, it is least concern. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, there's an estimated. Oh god, there's so many. Two hundred twenty thousand to four hundred forty thousand of them. That is a terrifying amount of terror machines, just flying. Around. This is why I don't like like open water. Because <laughs> there's that many of these things out there trying to kill me. Yeah. Oh god. Yeah. Lore. There is none. No one lives there. <laughs> There's no lore, but I really liked this uh, photo. I think this is a, a hair seal or hairier seal or something like that. So creepy looking. Yeah, he, does, he does, they just look mean. So I just wanted to share this picture with you. Guys. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. Fun facts. Don't be in their mouth. <laughs> Don't be in their mouth. This is... A no-go zone. It says no, don't go here. <laughs> so, today's fun facts aren't very fun. Mm, okay. Just gonna toss that out there. Their canines are like a normal carnivore, so these bad boys. Mm -hmm. But their back teeth, so these, lock together in a special way that lets the leopard seal sieve krill from the water to eat. Okay. So it acts like the baleen in a whale's mouth. So I they're like it's... eating machines, like they're built to eat. Yeah. God, scary. They are built to eat everything and anything that could possibly be in the Arctic. They can, Jesus. They can eat it all. Okay, so I have just a snippet or I have an excerpt of the thing from a report. Would you like just the snippet or would you like the full story? Uh, snippet. Snippet? Yeah. Okay. On a 1914 to 1917 expedition, Thomas Thomas Ord Lees was attacked while he was being chased on the ice when, and then another member of the team, Frank Wilde, shot the leopard seal and saved him. So I have an excerpt from the journal if you would like to hear the full story. Oh yeah, yeah. Yep. Is okay. he talking about how terrifying it is? Returning from a hunting trip, Ord Lees, traveling on skis across the rotting surface of the ice, had just about reached camp when an evil knob-like head burst out of the water just in front of him. He turned and fled, pushing as hard as he could with his ski poles and shouting for Wild to bring his rifle. The animal, a leopard seal, sprang out of the water and came after him, bounding across the ice with the peculiar rocking horse gait of, of a seal on land. The beast looked like a small dinosaur with a long serpentine neck. After a half dozen leaps, the sea leopard had almost caught up with Ord Lees when it, when it unaccountably wheeled and plunged again into the water. By then, Ordley's had nearly reached the opposite side of the flow. He was about to cross to safe ice when Leopard Seal's head exploded out of the water directly ahead of him. The animal had tracked his shadow across the ice. It made a savage long lunge for Ordley's with its mouth open, revealing an enormous array of saw-like teeth. 
Lord Lee's shouts for help rose to screams, and he turned and raced away from the attacker. The animal leaped out of the water again in pursuit, just as Wilde arrived with his rifle. The sea leopard spotted Wilde and turned to attack him. Wilde dropped to one knee and fired again and again at the onrushing seal. It was less than 30 feet away when it finally stopped. Jesus Christ. Uh, recorded in Endurance, Shackleton's Incredible Voyage. That's what that's from. They're terrifying. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just the fact that they know how to track, like they can, tr- like they, they hunt things, everything. That's, that's their job. Oh, so that crazy. is their job. In 1985, Gareth Wood was bitten twice and being dragged towards the sea. His companion saved him by kicking and hitting the animal in the head with their boots. And I forget what the name of the thing is, but it's those big spike things you clip onto the bottom of your boots to scale ice mountains. Yeah, I don't know what they are, but I, I know, don't know, I know what they're they, called. I know, I know what they are. Yeah. So they were just kicking it in the head to let go with uh, spiky boots and regular boots. Good God. Mm-hmm. And then in 2003, the only recorded death from a leopard seal Biologist Christy Brown of the British Academy Survey was killed while snorkeling. Another team member, Richard Burt, was also snorkeling at that time. They heard a scream and brought Brown back to shore, but could not resuscitate her. It was later found that the seal had kept Brown underwater for six minutes at at a depth of up to 70 meters, or 229 feet. She suffered from a total of 45 separate injuries, which were mostly concentrated around her head and neck. Oh, God. So it is their thought that they mistook her for a smaller seal or a large penguin. And it grabbed her, drug her down, and then when it started to try and kill her, it discovered that she wasn't what it thought it was Mm -hmm. and let her go. Or the other theory is it didn't know what she was and it was trying to figure if it was a threat or not. Uh, It is also thought that with the increased human presence in the Arctic, that more and more attacks are bound to happen, whether they oh, yeah. be fatal or not. Oh yeah, of course they are. These things own the Arctic. <laughs> like, <laughs> there's not. <laughs> if we want to go down there, we're gonna have to fight these things. And I think we should, you know. Just leave them alone? Maybe, leave them alone. Maybe just leave, leave the murder torpedoes alone. Maybe, that yeah. would probably be a good idea. <laughs> no, we have the rest of the world. Maybe just leave that whole cotton into them. We don't need it. There's nothing down there that we want. Ice samples. <laughs> okay, more ice samples. So now that we have done the leopard seal, thoughts? Uh, well, I think they're predators for more things than normal. Because they just, God, they're just terrifying. Well, um, I mean, there's not a lot down there. It would be silly for it not to be able to eat everything it could find. Well, true, but it's just, it's just the fact that nature has just made them into the ultimate killing machine for everything down there is <laughs> like, they don't have any. Well, I mean, there's the big, the big predator in the north is the polar bear. This mm-hmm. is the polar bear's equivalent in the south. Yeah, but like, to me, this is more scary than a polar bear. Is it because it's fast? It's because it's extremely fast, very, very agile, and can can, can track you above and below the water. Like a polar bear, like I know they swim, but like I, they, I don't really feel like they, they're that great at hunting as these guys. I mean, polar bears are dying out. These guys are not. <laughs> that says something. Well, all the ice caps are melting, so. <laughs> They're more terrifying than than I thought before. So yeah, they are. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. The entire time I was collecting my facts, I'm like, mm, Marty's gonna love this. <laughs> I'm so, going to hear nothing but, oh my god, I can't sleep tonight. <laughs> Leopard so, seals. <laughs> uh, there's probably one upstairs right now. Yes. We said its name three times. <laughs> it's yep. probably upstairs waiting. Yep. <laughs> so you go into your bathroom and you shut off all the lights and you close the door. And turn the wa- all the water on really cold. <laughs> <laughs> and then you splash seal. it in your face and you say leopard seal three times. And one will appear in your bathtub. And will inevitably murder everything in the house. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, the door is closed. We have to get through the door first. I don't think it would be a problem. <laughs> I was going to say, being being 11 and a half feet and being 1,300 pounds, I feel like a door would be no problem for one quick headbutt. <laughs> mm, yeah. With those big old flat heads? Oh, yeah. Just gone. <sighs> so, try that out. Let us know what happens. 
we're not going to do it. You can try. Yes. Uh, your at home <laughs> extracurricular activities. Turn off the light, close the door, splash your face with really cold water, say leopard seal three times, and let us know. Yeah. We're not responsible <laughs> for any deaths. Yes. Results may vary. <laughs> Thank you for joining us on Stuff Lab, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye.